Now, I always get the question, why do we have so many of these art deco buildings? Well, the reason is that in 1926, we had the third strongest hurricane coming in through the island, destroying most of the buildings we had back then. They started to rebuild again in the style of the time, which was art deco. Now, art deco originated in France in the 1920s. Most of these buildings were built between 1929 and 1947. Pues
mañana a las 10 y 40. Aquí yo les voy a enseñar a donde el bus va a estar estacionado para su recogida. Recuérdense que aquí en la pequeña Habana está el bus que tiene la letra A en el parabrisa adelante. To your right hand side, the Little Havana Visitor Center. I'm going to park this bus behind the Little Havana Visitor Center to your right. That's where you guys could come back for your souvenirs and they also have the Cuban ice cream. Now also, look to your right hand side, you see where it says Alfaro. If you want to have the best mojito in Little Havana, guys, Alfaro is the place to come. If you get it somewhere else, you're going to drink water and sugar. Okay, Alfaro is the best mojito here in Little Havana. If you want to get some Cuban clothes, like the guayaberas for the guys, and put up los abajo. Welcome to Little Havana. Bienvenidos a la pequeña Havana. If you lost your sticker, guys, don't worry. I'll give you another sticker. Si perdieron el sticker, no se preocupen, yo les doy otro. Another thing, guys, get your mojitos before the next bus gets here. The place does get packed. You won't have time later on. Remember, we're leaving at 10.40. Okay, si van a coger un mojito, cojanlo antes que... Because it goes inside Brickle City Center to your right. Bueno, miren, esa, esa, esa pista de tren que ven allá arribita es para un trencito pequeño que lo van a ver ahora que se llama el Metro Mover. Este le da la vuelta aquí al downtown por 11 millas, automático. Lo más lindo que tiene ese trencito, caballero, que es gratis para montar. Aprovechen esa cosita. Mira, este, este trencito lo lleva para la área de Brickle que está aquí a su mano derecha. Build the building here in downtown Miami. They'll start the construction for the building. 
Also an attempt to find artifacts and tools of the Tequesta Native Americans. This is where they had the village right next to the mouth of the Miami River. The Tequesta Native Americans died out in the 1700s. Today we have the Miguzuki and the Seminoles, and you guys can visit them at the Everglades. Bueno, cada rato cuando van a construir un edificio aquí en el downtown de Miami, empieza la construcción, muchas de las veces se encuentran los restos y las herramientas de los indios secuestrados. Aquí es donde ellos tenían sus casas al lado de la boca del río de Miami. Ellos murieron los 1700, hoy en día tenemos a los Mikosuki y a los Semeros que los pueden visitar. y el número 120 lo regresa aquí del downtown por 2 dólares y 25 centavos. Si you guys want to get back to Miami International Airport, it's also very easy to do. The 150 bus takes you from Miami Beach to Miami International Airport. 2 dólares and 25 cents, the 150 bus. Los que quieran regresarse al aeropuerto de Miami, no se les olvide el bus público que tiene el número 150. Ese lo regresa desde la playa Miami Beach al aeropuerto de Miami por dos dólares y veinticinco centavos. To your right hand side, the white spiral column you see there, it is a memorial to the Space Shuttle Challenger, which exploded back in 1986, killing all seven astronauts. A la mano derecha, esta columna blanca que ven aquí es un recuerdo a la nave espacial Challenger. Esta explotó en el año 1986, matando los siete astronautas. Also to your right hand side, Bayfront Park. Bayfront Park is where the first tourists came in 1896. It used to be the beach before they built the bridge that connected the city of Miami to the island of Miami Beach. Back in 1925, the edition Thank you. 